Hi everyone, my name is Nani and I'm the designer of the task list widget. Uh, I decided to create this little video so I can show you how to navigate stream elements, how you can customize your task list and to set up everything. So let's get started. Okay, so after you install your widget, this is all you're gonna see. Let's start with a timer. You can pick between a countdown timer or a Pomodoro timer. You can change how many minutes you want before the breaks and you can add up to 10 breaks. And you can also pick a normal stopwatch counting up timer. These are all the commands that you'll use to control your timer. So you can pick whatever prefix you want. I will advise you if you have a music bot on your channel, I will advise you to pick like a different prefix or make sure you you add different commands. And here are all the colors you can customize, which is basically everything. And we added also custom sounds for when you play, pause and complete a timer. Okay, let's go to the task list now. Um, this one is a little bit more complex because there's way more options to customize. But let's start with the settings. So this widget has a very special feature called the history ID. And with this feature, you will be able to save your lists forever without losing progress. Let me show you an example. I created a list with movies that I want to watch and I called it my custom list 02. And you can see that it saved all my movie progress. So all I need to do now is to change the title and there you go. Now for completed tasks, you can organize completed tasks in different ways. Let us check a few tasks. Done Interstellar, done Shrek, and done The Shining. You can see that with default, they all stay in the same place, but you can also choose to organize them. And with this feature, it will basically organize all the completed tasks on the top. Besides that, you can also choose to hide them. And this way, it will only keep uncompleted tasks. Now for usernames, you can basically choose to hide them like I have now. This is my broadcaster list, so I don't want to show my username, but you can display them. This is good if you have a chat to do list and you want to show your viewers names. And if you display them, you can do uppercase or lowercase. Besides this, you can also left turn line or right to line your list. Yay. And you can play with the scroll bar. So now I, it's not scrolling because I have it selected to not scroll until you hit more than that tasks. So let's bring this down and let's do, for example, three. You can see that it shows three tasks and then it starts scrolling. You can play with the scrolling animation to make it faster or slower. And also the count here on top, you can make it fade faster or fade slower. Besides that, you can also change the title and task fonts. All right, so let's move on to commands. This is basically how you will control your lists. First, you need to pick a prefix. You can pick whatever symbol you want. These are all the general commands. You can add, complete, or hide tasks, and you can add several words for the same command. These are all the mod and streamer commands. You can delete, reset, and also lock and unlock your list. This is great, but let's hope not. But let's say you're getting a hate rate or your chat is going a little bit weird. You can just lock your lists and no one else will be able to add tasks. Okay, so permissions now. We created this tab because we want you to have full control of your task list. You can see that on my broadcaster task list, only I can write, so I don't want other people to write in my task list. Uh, but for example, when I click on the chat to do, it's set to everyone else. You don't want to have your name here because you don't want your tasks to go to your chat to do. Besides this, we created such a special feature that I think it's so important for security. Let's say you're having a little bit of a creep viewer in your chat or someone is being weird and you want them to stop writing tasks on your list. All you have to do is, is write their username here and they will be banned from writing on the task list. For colors, 
this is a huge tab because you can literally customize every single color of this widget. And besides that, we also had a little bit of a special feature that I never had in any of my other widgets. We added channel rewards. So if you have this, your viewers can basically redeem special colors for their names with a little bit of a glowy effect. Let me show you how this feature works. So basically you need to go to a Twitch channel and create a reward with the same title as you have here. And then your viewers can simply go enable text effect and write down the X code of the color that they want. It needs to be an X code. And once they redeem it, look, my name looks green and glowy. Okay, everyone. So let's feature now. I added some cute custom audios to when you complete a task and when you complete a full list you can mess with audio put it louder or lower and you can also upload your own custom audios so yeah this was basically it guys i hope this was easy enough for you to follow and i hope you and your community enjoy our widget thank you so much